This is spooky. Whoa. Whoosh! Again, this is one of those, it's, as I said before in the last, uh, finale, it's one of those things where it's like, what the fuck is happening now? Because the whole episode has been... This Dealing with Chloe's key. problems. For the you know 30th the time. Max, tell him. Whoa, hey. And then it's like... Are you okay? Strict. Yeah. Oh, what, just, what, what's going on? Uh, what is she doing? Yeah. I'm, 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 shut up. Okay, Chloe. Give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. So for those of you that are completely lost, Max has now traveled back well, in time to the day that, that William now. died. What is this? William is here. Yes, and we can't Chloe is just a kid. <laughs> Am I that far back in time? Absolutely. Is Chloe 18 or not? Because it sounds like she's 18. Or not sounds like... How? We. I volunteer to break the eggs. I think she's 18? I don't know. I don't remember. Maybe not. That's true. I don't know. So how many eggs? She seems a little more developed, so maybe she... Uh, Right. I didn't mean that in a very. I didn't mean that in a weird way. I, it just meant. I am when your mom is away. Do we gotta take the photo? Because it'll make a difference. <laughs> now I get to take a picture. Strike a pose. Make me a star. I will. Just make me look nice, easy. Chloe. I'm happy for nice Chloe. She's nice. She looks nice. All right. Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay. Out here. All right. I remember what. Do. Where's his fucking keys? There it is. Alright. Oh, the phone! No, you can't get to it! No, you can't get to it! Hello. No, William, please! Hey, honey. You'll die! Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two whale. Really? I don't. What? I don't want to work at the. Okay. Well, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Dad jokes, <laughs> Now I'll have an excuse William looks like the most like I am a dad. I have to stop William from taking his car today. Where's his keys? I forgot where his keys were. Have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast upon. Ridiculous. Yeah. Grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? Language. for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? I'm gonna pay for the college for how much I swear at you because I'm a good father. Where's his keys? I can't remember. I think it's under his hat. Uh, That's right. You can't. All right. I'm gonna have you put that back. Okay. Oh no, no! I want that. All right. Take the cap. Score. Take the keys. And this took a bit of time to figure out because you don't really see uh, the keys out the sliding door. I did it. I saved William. That took a few tries because he has this beeper. No matter where you hide it, he'll find it. And you don't really see the sliding like door. I know it. So it takes a while to figure out. Forgot all about you, little buddy. Release the keys. <laughs> of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy Electronics. Spy Guy? That sounds close to Shy Guy. Is he his brother? Right down the street. This I can do. Good call, Max. Oh yeah, the bus is great. What if, what if, see, what if throwing his keys away didn't matter? What if he got on the bus and just exploded? Groceries and and it'll save the environment. You sold me already. I'm off to yonder bus stop. Uh, Joyce will love this. Will she? Also, the reason that everything is white is that because of the photograph, Max, being so she can only wander so far outside okay? the boundaries of the Chloe, photograph, which I doesn't make any sense awesome. whatsoever, but I'll awesome. roll with it. So yeah, Max just saved William's life. And at this point I was like, uh, did, did it matter or what's going on? But nope, Max saved William's life. So instead of uh, William dying and Joyce marrying uh, uh, David, and then Chloe becomes the biggest bitch of all time, um, William is still alive, so everything has changed. She is changing the past, but at what cost? You can very easily tell something's gonna go wrong. Because it's still going. That'd be very weird if everything went fine. It was like, yeah, everything's fine now, and then do 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 do. Then the hurricane comes and destroys everything. Also, the hurricane. How does. What's going on? 
Because until the fourth episode, I wasn't even sure if the hurricane even mattered anymore. Or until the teaser of the fourth episode. Hey, Nathan. Hey, everyone. What's going on? All right, you're a little too close to me. Don't call me Maxine. What the fuck? Yeah, never. Don't. Don't do that. I know. Sorry, Mad Max. You're not. I'm not. I'm not Mel Gibson either. Right? And I like. I'm. I'm fairly fond of Jewish people. I think Max is hot. She's acting like so. Why are you? You cool, Max? Nobody. I'm acting a little weird. She's probably blitzed. Courtney, you don't want anybody in the club. Like whatever, bitch. Jesus. Give me a second. I'm freaking out. I just changed time. Hey, Warren. <laughs> you don't mind if I stare at you while you make oh, love to your girlfriend, right? Totally no, that's fine. Up. What else have I changed? So yeah, Chloe. She changed the past, so now things are different. And the and the thing is, you're not really sure how things are too different. You're not sure what exactly changes. Oh, it's, hey, it's David. Hi, David. I stole away your fuck partner. <laughs> Every character should be voiced but like that. Hey, I'm Max! Max Caulfield! What's going on? But yeah, this is a general problem uh, with, the, uh, with the third episode. At least the ending of the third episode. You're not sure what exactly has changed. And what stays the same. And the third problem, which I'm going to talk about after the episode's over. Because we've got more shit to deal with. Because everything went perfectly fine, right? That's a lot of birds. It's like, oh shit, what's going on, man? Winds are circling. We can't get out. Johnny. Go for plan B. Got it, boss. Just turn into a giant I don't know. Just fucking a lot of birds. It's a song that I can't hear because I've got my headphones. Hang on. Does it sound good? Sure. Okay, whatever. <laughs> oh, hey, it's whatever. Brooke. Got her name. And that guy who I don't know his name. Is that a whale? That's a fucking whale! Sweet! Touch it. Poke it. Has anyone ever been on a beach and seen a, d a dead whale? It's pretty cool. Because at first you're not sure what it is. And then you get closer and it's like, that's not a rock. That is in fact a dead organism. Known as a whale. And you're like, oh, okay, whale. Hmm. Interesting. Now this is the part everyone goes, oh shit, at. Probably shouldn't have said that. Oh well, too late. Where's the shit car? What <laughs> if William was, like, still dead? It's like, ah, oh, great. Now my life's changed. Didn't even make a difference. That would have been an interesting ploy, because I thought that William would have died anyway. Which would have been interesting, because things would have been different, but it it has this kind of small lesson of you can't Max change what's me. already cemented in time. You're, there's no point in going into the past, or trying to change something from the past, because it's the past, it doesn't matter. City. That would have been an interesting ploy, no. and it's, I've seen it done before, but they could have toyed with never it. Do that to Chloe. Speaking of, the problem with... Been dying to see you. Hold on. The the time twist like this. Chloe, you have a visitor. Hey, let's see how fun Chloe is now because she's not a bitch anymore. Let's see how great Chloe is now. She's probably an awesome character right now. Okay. Hi, Chloe. Uh. You look a little different. What's up? And that's the end of the episode. <laughs> You're like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Alright. Actually, that's what everyone else is like. Because I hated Chloe so much that... <laughs> then when I saw that, when I saw... Because everyone else was like, oh, no, now I feel super de sad for her. And then... <laughs> but when I saw her, I was like, yeah, good. She's not talking a lot, is she? <laughs> Yeah, guys, that's the end of this third episode, um, uh, Chaos Theory, uh, which is a good description of, uh, the whole episode. Um, well, not the whole episode, just the end of the episode. Um, 
Now, there were some enjoyable moments. I did like some of the... They, it seems like they took a little less... They had some more humor in it. Uh, they had a lot fewer characters. They didn't juggle as many characters. At least that's what I think. I don't think they juggled as many characters as they did with the other episodes. Um, so it felt a little more compact. So that's what I liked about it. The problem comes mostly from the first 35 minutes and the end of the episode. Because the first 35 minutes, it feels like you don't learn anything at all. <laughs> because in the first episode, Max makes the, s makes the uh, statement. And this is what I was talking about in the, the Let's Play the first episode. It's like, we're going to get to this, but I can't talk about this yet. And this is what I was talking about. Because the first, uh, the first part of the third episode, you go into the school and then you learn something that you already knew. Because Max just said, oh, of course the principal isn't going to do anything because the Prescott's pay for the school. And then in your head, you're like, oh, so probably if Nathan is in there, they're probably paying to keep his record clean. So that's what you surmise. So then the game treats it as such a shock that it's like, oh, they're actually paying for Nathan to have a clean record. And it's like, yeah, I figured. <laughs> And then comes the next problem of Nathan's supposed uh, psychosis um, or psychological state. Um, the problem with that is that it seems a little bit out there because the first time you see Nathan, it, it just looks like an anger, an anger management issue. He's, he seems a little rough. That's that's all he looks like. But the third episode tries to convince you that there's a certain level of psychosis that he's actually gone into, um, which is weird because I, I haven't really studied psychology. But I can't imagine, I've always thought that uh, if you had a normal attitude, if you had a normal attitude, you can have a secret attitude of a psychosis, say, with most serial killers. Like, they can appear normal, but they're completely fucking nuts. Um, you can be normal and have a normal, you know, personality. You can act a bit out there, but deep inside you're normal. I've never really had the, I've never really seen the problem of you act a little out there and you're even more insane inside I've I just I've just never considered that that's why I just felt off um the next problem and this is a problem that's strictly for a uh, an episode an episodic uh, series is when time changes like they go back and retcon everything uh, by sake of a time by sake of a time warp um, the problem with that is it's hard to pinpoint what will change and what will stay. Because at that point, that's completely changed the rest of the game. So, this, this is what I'm getting to. What was the point of everything before it if time changes? I mean, I already know that the hurricane is going to be a subject of the next episode because they just released a teaser for the next episode. Um... But the problem is that it just doesn't feel like it has the structure it should because now everything has just been wiped clean. You're not sure what... You need to relearn everything. Uh, and that's the problem when, uh, when time changes. And it, it would make sense if it changed a little. If there wasn't a whole lot that would change. But there is a whole lot that changed. Max is now in the circle of the popular people. Warren has his own uh, girlfriend completely forgot about Max. Um, and of course, and of course, Chloe's situation, it's just hard to, it's hard to really guess where it's going, but you need to give, God, this is hard to say. Oh, maybe that's why I've never, that's why, that's probably why I like the third episode more than the other two is because I, I can't figure out how to explain why I don't think certain parts work. I just, I just don't know. I just feel like, I just feel like either this thing should have been pulled last, or last episode. This seems like, or maybe this is the perfect time to pull that sort of thing. But I don't think it's a thing to pull in this kind of situation. And then comes the problem of, because Max in the, in the, uh, climax of the last episode, she froze time. She didn't rewind it, she froze it. And that was really cool, it was like, how far can her powers go? That just opened up a question and that piques interest. 
The problem with the end of the third episode, which again shows another tier of her power, but then comes the problem of it seems like they're using her power as an excuse and trying to see what ways they can use it for the climax. And it just seems like that because Max rewind Max stops time in the second episode, but in the third episode, you didn't even see it. So it's hard to really gauge what limits Max has risen, risen to when nothing is really solidified. I think that's the next problem. I, th I don't think... Maybe if they add another episode, maybe the time change could have worked. God, this is hard to say. This is probably the hardest I've ever, I've ever, I've ever had to explain. Um, I just feel like... I feel like... The time change is in a good place for a climax, but I don't feel like there's enough time for everything get, to get sorted out. At least that's what I feel. I don't feel like there's enough time for everything to sort itself out uh, between the fourth and the fifth episode, or whatever that may be. The fourth episode looks a lot more focused, so I'm really um, anticipating the fourth episode, uh, which is good because I never really want a game to be bad. Um, I've never really felt that way. It's just, whenever I see a game be bad, it's just, ah. But how the fourth episode is looking, at least by the teaser, it looks like we're finally getting to something that I care about. Um, you left the money. Who fucking stole the money? Are you shitting me? What is wrong with you? And I didn't kiss Chloe. Good. You sided with Dave. Man, I'm in the minority, except for the dog. Who killed the dog? What a jerk. All right, next. What's next? Lisa is... Who the fuck is Lisa? I... Who's Lisa? Are we talking PT here? What's going on? I thought that was cancelled. Fucking Lisa jumps through the screen. Ah! You didn't... You didn't help Warren with it as an example. Good, he doesn't fucking need his name on it. It's just take it. You're not on the Vortex Club party. Good. I don't care. Uh, not that it matters because time has changed. That's the next problem. Kate surviving. I'm not sure if Kate is actually going to appear in the next episode. And if she doesn't, there was no fucking point to her subplot. <laughs> there was nothing. There could <laughs> I'm just so irritated. If Kate doesn't show up in the next episode, I'm going to be upset. If she's dead, I'm going to be upset. You know why I'm going to be upset? It's because it focused so much on the second episode when we could have done something important. And then the fourth episode when they're like, Oh no, she's just dead. Great, thanks. You helped Alyssa. Great. You didn't erase the cop's message. Good. You didn't warn the homeless. Who the fu- I think... I have no idea what's- Oh, I forgot about the mark on the fireplace. Shit, I forgot about that. Exit. See, this teaser does absolutely nothing. It's like, oh, they're all dancing. Great. Fucking fantastic. It's like, oh, great. But the teaser that's been uploaded to YouTube, that's actually a lot uh, better. Um, so guys, that is the end of episode 3 of Life is Strange Chaos Theory. Please join me next time while I will do a blind let's play of episode 4, The Dark Room. So guys, if you enjoyed this session of Life is Strange episode 3, please tune in next time while we do episode 4. Completely blind, you won't have any sort of hard, solidified opinions of anything like you've had for the last 3 episodes. The 4th episode is going to be completely blind. So guys, I hope you'll enjoy that, and I hope I'll enjoy that. Because you might see a side of me where it's like, Oh, this is actually really good. And then you find out later that I harden and become soulless. That's usually what happens. So guys, have a nice day. And thanks for watching. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. That's the way... Forget it.